Hi, Phil Schoenberg, Fast Pitch Power. Just finished a great mini camp in beautiful southern Arizona. It definitely is a hotbed for softball talent in this part of the country. One of the things I noticed, however, and I've noticed this in many places we've been, is a, uh, I don't want to call it a failure, but it is a lack of recognition of the importance of the relationship between the glove hand, power line, and where and how you land as a pitcher. It doesn't seem to be an issue for these girls when they're doing their drills. They line themselves up very well to the power lines. You can see here, I've got a power line here, line themselves up very well. They do their drills, forearm fire, end game drills, even their 3-2-1 drills, and their position relative to the power line is good until they get back in the pitching circle, coming off the rubber, and coming forward. A lot of what I see, and this is something that will almost always result in a mechanical breakdown that is going to diminish your ability as a pitcher to maximize speed and command. So coming off the pitching rubber now, I land here. Now here's my power line, here's my stride foot. My hand's behind my head, and what I see a lot of girls doing is putting their bodies in this position, premature forward lean. The tension that I need to keep my body in this position is power that will not be available to me in the delivery of my ball. So in order to get my hand from here in this position back to the throw zone so I can get it to my target, I gotta do this, or I've gotta prematurely rotate. Both of those issues are going to result in loss of speed and command. And even though I'm working with good athletes, I am seeing these girls over and over again not be able to realize their potential simply because of their lack of understanding of how the body should move relative to the power line. Now, you're not going to see a power line when you're in a game, but when you're doing your workouts, it's very important to understand that. So, if I'm coming off the pitching rubber here and I land correctly, here I am in power K position, now my hand is right where it needs to be to deliver that ball. My glove hand takes me there. I'm pointing right at my target to deliver that ball directly to my target with maximum speed and command. So when you're doing your workouts, it's fine to put your body, not fine, it's essential to put your body in the right position, to train it, to feel the position that it's in when it's stationary doing your drills. It becomes a lot more difficult when the movement becomes dynamic. When you're exploding off the pitching rubber and landing, you need to remember that that relationship is critical to your ability to command the strike zone with maximum power and speed. I hope that this has been useful for you. Would love to hear your comments on it. Talk to you next time.